Okay. I never know how higher to heaven and holy my poomph is until I turn on the camera. Looking good. I'm editing a food shop that I did, but it's a special one because we're doing the 21 day fix workout again. If you don't know what it is, it's a beach body program. I'm not sponsored by them, but Ryan and I did it in January of last year and it worked really well for us. So now that I'm postpartum and can work out and can eat right, I'm trying it again and we'll see where it gets me. You guys have been requesting that I do more foodie bits, so I'm listening and I thought that it would be fun to show you guys some of the groceries that I bought off of the meal plan that I made from Pinterest and then the meals that I make from the groceries that I bought. Does that make sense? So in this video, I got the groceries that I need, and the next video will be all the meals that I made from the groceries that I bought. Man, a lot of words to explain a very simple concept. Anyways, that's what you're about to watch. Also, over on Insta Stories, I said that I wanted to film my bullet journal flip through for this week, but I can't figure out how to rig an overhead tripod. I even looked on YouTube for hacks and things, and I've looked on Amazon for purchasing the actual right tools, but it's money I just don't want to spend. So if you know of a good hack, let me know below. Let me know below. Because that video can't get done until I figure that out. And last business note, the weekly bit is also coming your way. Ryan's on that one, so whenever he has free time and he can get it up, he will. That's everything. Now let's go stare at some food. Enjoy. This is a 21 day fix grocery haul because Ryan and I and some of my friends are just starting the 21 day fix again this week so that I can try and keep this going down instead of back out. Paw Patrol. Magic. Everything here is from a meal plan, so if I can remember what recipe I had it assigned to, I will tell you. So, for instance, the kale goes to a strata, 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 that I'm going to make that's kale and whole wheat and stuff. I don't know. Um, everything's on my Pinterest board, too, so I'll link that below. I got some sauces. We were out of A1. We were out of Worcester, so I got that. I'm going to make Luca some coleslaw. It's his favorite thing, so I got some new mayo. A lot of the dressings and things in the 21 Day Fix require Dijon mustard, so we got some of that. Low-fat cottage cheese. This is going to be used for those protein pancakes. That was the last video I had up. And also, I think they are part of the stuffing mixed with ricotta in these stuffed peppers. I'm not sure. There was some other recipe I'm doing that needed cottage cheese. I'm going to make some roasted toasted chickpeas or garbanzo beans. Tuna for making tuna cakes. That's what the tarragon is for too. Some jalapenos. I think those go in the tuna cakes. I don't remember for those. I've never bought jalapenos before. These are Ryan's favorite pre-made salads at that grocery store, so he got some. Goat cheese and mushrooms for me to have omelets. Avocado, because every health nut needs an avocado in their life. Somebody just posted on Pinterest avocado and cottage cheese with salt and pepper, and that sounds like it would be horrible because they're the same texture and kind of bland. But it was repinned a lot, and the picture actually looked good, so I'm going to try it. I'll report back. I'm going to be sharing a lot of things I try, so I'll let you know how that is. Lemon for the coleslaw for Luca and for other things, just a bit of freshness. Some Frank's hot wing buffalo sauce. This was in a lot of 21 Day Fix approved recipes too, so I got some. Never had that before. Ricotta is going to be made into a stuffing with the bacon, wherever that is, into these little mini peppers. It's also on my Pinterest. I don't remember what the bell pepper's for. I think it's the tuna cakes. Parmesan cheese is in a bunch of this stuff. These definitely have parm in them. Cherries on account of delicious in summer. Standard. I'm going to do the Pioneer Women's version of the smashed potatoes, but I'm going to do them with sweet potatoes and less of the cheesy buttery goodness on top in a different way. I also pinned that on Pinterest, so I'm going to try and make it 21 day fix friendly. This is Ryan's choices. He got some coconut water and some cold brew Kona coffee. We haven't tried this before, but we have tried the Trader Joe's cold brew. We like that a lot. Here's the bacon that goes with the stuffed peppers. This is some whole wheat thick cut bread that goes with the strata. We bought this fresh at the bakery there. I found a very kid friendly macaroni broccoli chicken recipe that was 21 day fix approved, so I got that. Cilantro goes in the tuna cakes. At that grocery store, there are these ready-made grilling vegetables that I really love, but it's $5 for a one-serving pack. So we looked at the back of it and looked up all the veggies that were in it and purchased them. I'm going to do the chopping all today, and I will put them in the fridge, and hopefully I can get multiple servings for a lot less money. Same with these fruits. Instead of buying the multi-pack of chopped up fruits, I'm going to hack these up myself, and they will be ready-made breakfast for when I need to jump into the car and go and don't have time to grab something. Some of these mornings, I'm going to be working out with my friend at her house, so so it'd be nice to just take a serving container of fruit ready-made and I can also take it for the kids too without having to fuss over breakfast for them. As always, I forget something. What is it? What is it? I think I got it. What is your price guess for all of this? Most of it's organic. A lot of it's really expensive. Like regular mayo you can get for $2.50. This was $7.99. 
so what do you say? You know, tarragon, $5. There's some pricey things in here. Total was, shoom, whatever that says right there. <clears throat> so we're on board for 21 Day Fix. Here we go. I will be sharing the meals that I make with you in more foodie bits. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.